YouTube channel. Today, um, as you saw by the title, we're going to be talking about how to get out of a funk. Um, funk? By that, I just mean a, like, you know, not a, a, just, you're not, you're not your best. You're just kind of on a little bit of a low. Um, I wanted to put a disclaimer kind of at the beginning of this video that when I say funk, I just mean like you are just not feeling your best lately and you don't know what to do. And this is me just talking about when I'm feeling out of it and I'm feeling a little bleh, you know. This is what I do to just make myself feel better and feel more like myself and just get myself back in the swing of things. So that's what I'm really going to be talking about today. Let's just get right on into it. Okay, so the first thing I would do, honestly, is clean my room. Um, I feel like when you have, like, a clean room and, like, a nice organized room, it just honestly makes, like, your mood so much better. Um, and, like, another thing I like to do is, I personally like to do, is just clean my room. And if you have a window in your room, open up your window and let some light in and, like, bring it all brighter. Um, I've been do my mom has been reminding me to, like, put up my blinds and open up my window. And it's honestly made, like, me feel so much better. But it's honestly just made me feel so much better. And it's been making just, I honestly personally feel more down in the dumps. You know, when it's dark in my room and when it's lighter. And, like, I love putting up my ring light even when I'm not filming. Just because there's more light in my room. And it feels just so much more, like, wah, you know? Um, the second thing I recommend, and I don't do this that often. I do it when I feel like I need to spill out my feelings. But is to write, it's to journal, is to write about your feelings and journal, even about literally just your day. If it was a good day even, write it down. Um, I have a jar and it's, I call it my joy jar. I know this is like stupid, but like I have the jar and it, whenever something like good happens that I really like and it like just made my day and it was like super cute and I remember I will write it down on a sticky note and fold it up and put it in this jar so I can go back and look at them. I have a couple right now, but if anything good actually like, good happens that I'm just like so excited about or like something great happens and I'm just, you know, woohoo. Um, I'll write it down and just so I can remember if I do remember. I usually remember I have the jar, but sometimes I forget, so I don't know. Um, same with my journal. Sometimes I forget I can journal, but like I forget to. But I've journaled a couple of times about just like life and just like things that were kind of stressing me out. And even just some happy things, you know, I, it's. It's weird looking, especially with journaling, I feel like it's so weird looking back at your things that you wrote about. Even from like, literally I was looking at things I wrote about from like not even a month ago, like maybe a little a month, like a month ago basically. All this kind of stuff was happening and I was like reading back through it and it's crazy. Or just like things that happened. I don't know, like this, okay, so, so I'm going to read you guys one of my journals because I think it's so funny and um, yeah. So, this is from July 14th. This is when I, like, started my, when I started journaling for the first time. So, it says, I decided to start journaling. Yesterday, I went and saw Ariana Grande. She was amazing. I also met my idol, Avery Ovard. She was four rows down from me. This was the second time I've met her. She's the reason I started my YouTube channel. I'm currently at 67 subscribers. But, 67 subscribers. That's insane. Um, the next thing I wrote down was self-care. Um, depending on who you are, I don't really know, but honestly, it doesn't, I honestly think if you're a guy or a girl, you can do self, you can do self-care and do some things like the things I wrote down. I wrote down hair care, face masks, and like nails. So, you know, guys, if you don't, you obviously don't need to like, you know, do nail care, like that's not your thing, don't do it. But, um, I think honestly just being at home, especially during all this kind of crazy time where we're stuck at home, getting, just painting your nails and like, you know, clipping them and painting them and just giving your nails a little more attention is always so cute and nice. And it would just honestly, it makes me feel just like a lot better and more put together if I have my nails painted. Mine are kind of a hot mess right now because I took my acrylics off the other day, but we're not going to talk about that. Um, but, um, I feel like it can just kind of put every, like, make yourself feel more put together, I guess. Um, face masks and like hair masks and like doing like things for your hair to like kind of make it feel a lot better. Like, even like getting a little trim, a little haircut, um, getting, just doing things like that can honestly help your hair feel better. Making your, you know, your face and your skin, your hair feeling better will help you feel a little better. I feel like this is one thing that really helps me, you know, I feel like when I just do a face mask or something, my skin starts feeling a lot better. I start feeling a lot better. You know, you feel. Okay, so this one's kind of random. But I wrote down dress the way you want every single day. 
um we are you know as you know um we are stuck in quarantine which is really hard because a lot of people have been asking me tylee why do you keep like getting up and getting ready every day but personally i feel so much better when i am put together and i'm getting dressed and like doing things and i i actually get things done when i'm dressed i know this is like random off topic but i get things done when i'm dressed and i'm like in like an outfit and i feel so much better when i'm in an outfit like obviously i honestly i kind of only stay in my outfit for like a half of the day and then i like switch into leggings by dinner time but that's fine you know what it's fine because i'm like getting things done and i'm dressed and i'm being productive and that's what matters is that i'm like feeling good and i'm doing things you know um but i'm gonna just you know so yeah those are some of my outfits that i've been wearing recently um just kind of being at home but i still really was really excited about them i've come up with even some like fun new outfits that i'm excited to like wear to school when all of this is over i'm so excited about it i've been planning out outfits i've got some good fashion video out we're just starting to get into that we're just um, the next thing I wrote down was like meditate and like draw or color and things like that. Honestly, it's so relaxing. Listen to some calm music and meditate. Maybe even do some yoga, um, stretch, things like that. Like getting your body more moved, I guess, is really nice too. Um, I love to color and to draw. Like I know I just switched from movement to coloring and drawing, but like just disregard. But I like to draw and color sometimes, so... I honestly genuinely feel like it makes me feel like so relaxed, I guess. So if you're feeling uptight or stressed or anything, just honestly sit down, maybe meditate a little bit, color a little bit, draw if you're good at drawing. If you're not good at drawing, still draw. It's super fun. It's fun. I'm not good at drawing, but I draw anyways. Um, on that whole note of movement, um, I wrote down workout. Um, this is not something that you need to do to feel better about yourself or anything. You don't need to work out. You don't need to like do any of that like you don't need to but i think that movement is very very important so even if you're just going on like a walk doing some yoga just doing little things like that is very important but i like to work out i'm a dancer so i do try to work out and stretch and all that kind of stuff um as much as i possibly can being at home and not being able to go to my dance classes that i do on a regular basis um so i try to do that as much as i can here at home but I think that even just you guys at home could do like a small workout or go for a like a walk. Anyways, so um, honestly, I feel like that's so nice just like working out and things like that. I personally, I have a note card that I wrote down all of like these workouts that I want to do. I also have resistance bands and things like that that I like to do to work out. I think it's really fun. And if you guys were interested in seeing like my workout routine, and what I do to stay active and things like that. Comment down below. I'll definitely do it. Um, I just don't know if anyone would really be interested in seeing that. But if you guys are, I will film it and I will post it. Um, another one I wrote down is plan. I'm a very organized person and I like to organize things and I like to plan things out. Um, such as my meals and I like to plan out like my days, my weeks and outfits and things like that. I love planning. I know I've talked about this in other videos but it's really nice for me. Um, and if you're feeling stressed out or overwhelmed, um, a good way to like kind of, you know, calm that down a little bit is to just write things out, plan it out. I have a, I have a, you, like a regular planner, which is mainly for like YouTube and dance stuff. And then a school planner for all of my schoolwork and things like that. And then I do have, you know, my handy dandy YouTube planner thing, notebook, bullet journal, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I feel like it's just so nice to write things down and write things out and know what my day-to-day -day plan is. Even if it's like kind of scattered, like I obviously don't plan my day-to-day -day routine. Like sometimes I add things in all the time. But to have like an idea of what you want to get done in a day is so nice for me. I like it. It's pretty great. I honestly wasn't even planning on filming today. But I was like, let's do it. So that's what's happening. Last but not least that I wanted to talk about was doing something you love. Um, I love to dance. I love to make YouTube videos for you guys. Um, I love to do photography. I love to do things like that. Um, so I try to do that every day as much as I possibly can. Or, you know, uh, especially being stuck at home all the time, I am filming more and I'm posting more, which is so fun. I love it. It makes me very happy. I've been dancing as much as I can and doing, you know, moving around, which is very fun for me. And things like that. Do what you love if you like to play the guitar. Play the guitar. Learn a new song. If you like to do your makeup, if you're like love makeup so much, just, you know, maybe mess around, do some makeup looks, post them. You know, make a, make an Instagram account for your makeup. 
I would love to see that. If you wanted to do that, send it to me. I'd like to see that. Do something fun. If you like making TikToks, make some TikToks. Get famous. Do what you want. Do what you love. And it will genuinely make you, if it makes you happy, do it. Who cares what other people say? I genuinely think that's like the best thing I can tell you to do is to do something that you love and talk to people that you love as well. Like I know that's kind of, you know, maybe a different category, but um, talking to people that you love and that you are friends with and things like that are also going to be very helpful. I, when I talk to my friends and stuff and they all just like make me so happy, I just, I feel so much better about everything and they always just make me feel better. So I love talking to them. Um, but that's it for this video. I honestly, I'm sorry that it's really short, but um, I have been planning a lot of fun videos. Another thing that I wanted to point out is that my location might be a little different. Um, I'm still in my room. I'm just against this white wall now. Um, and then that's the my one of my signs, but um, that's gonna be in an upcoming video in a couple weeks, so don't worry about that. You'll figure it out, you'll know what's going on soon enough, I promise. But I just wanted to tell you guys that so you guys weren't confused. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. I'm sorry it was short. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Maybe push the notification bell. I'm going to be posting every single, like three, every single day. Nope. Um, I'm going to be posting three days a week, every week for a while. As long, as long as I feel like it. Um, but you guys should definitely, you know, make sure you guys are notified on that. Um, subscribe to my vlog channel. Um, might be doing some vlogs soon. Who knows? Um, follow my Instagram and all my social medias. I like posting on Twitter sometimes, so you guys should go follow me on Twitter. That would be really fun. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Give it a thumbs up, you know, the usual. Um, last one at least, have a good day, have a good night, have a good evening, or just whenever you're watching this. Bye!